If you're printing out or intend to print out a document with multiple pages, it can be helpful to put page numbering in the bottom or top of every single page. Now these areas at the top and bottom of a page are called the header and footer. And you can put a title or page numbering or a picture or anything you like in the header and footer. If we take a look at this page on screen, this area here is the header. And if I scroll down to the bottom, this is the footer. Now, to add a header and footer, Microsoft have some presets, but you can also put your own in. If you have a look on the insert ribbon, when you go to the insert ribbon, you'll see over here, there's a section called header and footer and you have some options. Now, if I want to put a header in or a footer, I can click on the drop down for header and it gives me some choices of presets that I can put in. And I can also scroll down these to look at other types of headers that I may wish to use. Now, if I use one of the ones that Microsoft have pre-built, we may want to use this sideline option. If I click on that, you'll notice that it puts in a title and it's put a little line just for art's sake. Now we can change this to read anything we want. When we click up here, we can highlight it and replace it with our title, Boston Tourist Guide. Because I want those words to appear at the top of every page. Now this particular document has got six pages in it. And I can tell that from this notification down in the bottom left corner page one of six. You'll also notice that because I'm working with a header and footer that I am now in this area at the top here and it tells me it's the header there's a dotted line and the rest of the document has become a lot lighter. If you look also on the ribbons I've got a new ribbon header and footer and you can see that I've got some options up here. And there's one thing I do want to do here, and that's to go to the footer. And you'll see there's a couple of navigation buttons here to go to the footer. When I click on that, you'll notice it jumps me down to the footer of the page. Now in this one, I would like to put some page numbering. Now, Looking on my ribbon bar, I do all of my header and footer work here. Over at the left, you'll see I've got the header and footer, but I've also got this page number. If I choose the page number, I get many options. Now, because I'm in the position where I want to be, I'm going to choose this one that says current position. I can then go down and choose one of the pre-built page numbering. And if I click on that, you'll see that it puts in a page number design. Now these numbers will change automatically, so I don't need to do anything. Now to come out of the header and footer area, you'll see there's a button over here at the far right called close header and footer. This will take me back to the document. Now, if I show you what we have here, there is my header on page one. If we scroll down, there's my footer at the bottom of page one. At the top of page two, I've got the header. Page two is numbered, the top here, and so on and so forth. And that is the header and footer basics.